Are you a new real estate agent looking to jump into the field, but you don't know where to start? That's where I'm here to help. My name is Nick DeLeon. I'm a real estate agent in Tampa, Florida. And today we're going to talk about five things that a new real estate agent should do right now. Now I know it's overwhelming trying to get leads, generate leads, sell houses, get clients, all that. But the, we have to start with one thing first, and that is choosing a broker. Choosing your broker will definitely equip you with what you need to be successful in the field, but it really comes down to whatever your lifestyle is and what you expect to get out of the real estate business. Brokers can offer many different things, different benefits, trainings, things like that. And it really comes down to what you are looking for, what you think you'll need to be successful in the field. So it doesn't necessarily matter which broker you get as long as it aligns with what you want and what you expect. The second thing I wanna talk about is social media. Getting active on social media is very important because the sooner you can get a following around you, the sooner that you can generate leads and then turn those leads into clients and then close deals and get the ball rolling. The third thing that I wanna talk about is choosing your lead generation. There are so many different forms of lead generation and it really does not matter which one you choose, they're all effective. You just wanna make sure you choose the one that you're comfortable doing. We're gonna talk about online and offline lead generation. It's important to have at least one of each going into it just to maximize your lead generation. For offline lead generation, we're gonna talk about things that you do in person, such as door knocking, cold calling, networking events, open houses. All of these can be effective. It just comes down to which one you're comfortable doing the most. The second form of lead generation is online. This would come down to the social media we were talking about before, people watching your videos, reaching out to you. They wanna work with you. They see your knowledge online. They'd love to work with you. This is also very effective, but it's great to have both. The fourth thing that I wanna talk about is staying organized. When you're working with a bunch of different people, making a bunch of different calls and scheduling all these meetings, it's easy to over double book yourself and it's easy to lose track of which number is calling you, who is who, things like that. So staying organized is very important. So it'd be great to keep an Excel sheet or even have a good CRM, which you'll learn about, I'm sure, from any broker that you choose. Uh, the CR CRM can help keep your leads and clients organized so that you know who's calling you and you can make the call from there, send the email from there. Just staying organized really helps and time management. I know it seems weird keeping a calendar or something like that, but trust me, it'll help you in the long run so that you don't double book yourself and end up putting a potential deal on the line because you have to cancel one and go to the other. The last thing I wanna talk about is trusting the process. Yes, it's slow when you start out in real estate. It can be very slow and it seems tedious, but as long as you stay consistent with social media and your lead generation, it will yield results. It just takes time. So you have to trust the process and believe that you can do it. Try not to lose faith. Try to stay consistent. Consistency is key in this field. So definitely stay consistent, stay with it, stay positive, and success will come to you. And that's it. If you have any more questions, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Uh, thank you all for watching.